Matt from Public Whitetail getting a little bit of practice out back here in the yard. And uh, going to try some sticks out today with the harness and uh, have a little bit of camera action here rigged up. And hopefully it goes okay and we actually get some stuff in picture. So decided to take a break from the steps. Uh, they are doing quite well, but got this deal on some uh, River's Edge climbing sticks. Uh, they're a cheaper model, but steel nonetheless, uh, which I trust a little bit more than uh, aluminum. So give it a shot here and see what we got. Okay. We're not worried about noise too much, so something I'm going to plan on doing is adding some fabric tape to these, but they do nest well together, and we'll get them untangled here real quick while I'm standing here and chatting them up. This is yet another thing I'm looking at just as an option so we can uh, see what the pluses and minuses of each of these climbing methods are. Now we'll take a look at one of these uh, River's Edge climbing sticks. All one piece. Uh, nothing's moving. Everything's fairly solid. As we get up top here uh, you can see we have a, a hooking system. They call it their ram hook system. Basically, you take one of the eyelets through and go ahead, wrap it around the tree, and then there's an eyelet on the other side that will attach on here. Uh, tested them out once yesterday and hooked in very nice. Uh, simple tension buckle. So far, the nylon webbing looks good. No snags or anything of that nature. And uh, we're going to see what the first one looks like here. I'm going to start them out relatively low. Okay. We're locked in. Now let's first take a look at this. Stick. Now that it's hooked up, I've got the... Uh, two hook areas uh, they're really secure good solid welds no movement no shutter no nothing the steps are already coated with a grip tape style paint and one piece all mobile i'm going to go ahead and give this a kick because this is something that we look at with the uh the steps, the wild edge steps, and that this tree, of course, isn't perfectly symmetrical. Uh, it's not perfectly round. So these are some of the challenges that we face when looking at a stick, is we don't have perfectly centered. Now I'm gonna go ahead here in a minute, and I'm gonna try, take my first step on and set the stick. Okay, we've got our sticks all set up, and we have the first two at least, I'll say. I know they're not as high as some people will run, but this is just to show off uh, what they do, and can they hold the weight of somebody more my size. So what I'm going to be getting into next is going ahead and putting my Lyman's rope or Lyman's line around. I'll loosen my Prusik knot. We'll go ahead and get attached. Oh. There we are. Go ahead and get set and get comfortable with the line. Ropes are looking good, whole way around. Okay, both feet are off the ground, lines are taut. We'll go ahead and take our next step up. 
Okay, and we'll see how well this rig holds up while I'm climbing. Okay, everything's solid. I'm gonna bring my line up a little bit. So I'll get back with you in a second. Okay, let's go ahead and take our next step. Top of the first stick. Feeling pretty good so far. And setting the second stick. Doing okay. The stick itself is all settled in. And we're about six feet off the ground right now. Not going for any climbing records or anything, but give these things a good solid test. And we'll go ahead, move the line up, and we will go ahead and climb to the top of the second step. There we are. Okay, we're about eight feet up in the backyard and feeling pretty good. Go ahead and get a shot. Feet, little harness is strapped in at H2. It's doing its job. I'm all buckled in. And at this point, I could stand to go ahead and tighten my lineman's rope, which I'm gonna do, because I'm gonna work on my, getting my tether tied off here. Be right back. Okay, here we are about 12 feet up or so. I'm gonna go ahead and attach my tether. And this is one other reason why we practice, because I have it hooked on the carabiner for easy access. But when you start doing some of this stuff, the one thing we have to be concerned with is being able to access our gear while we're hanging from a tree. So going through, I actually ran this through both carabiners to make sure I didn't drop it on the way up. So I'm just working it right now for the first time. our loop right here. We have our carabiner right here. We're going to wrap that around the tree. I'm going to tighten up my lineman's rope real quick. I'm going to break this loose nice and comfortable while I'm standing on the step. I'm going to slide this a little bit closer. And we'll readjust, make sure we're centered. And there we are. Now I can work more comfortably from a standing point. Carabiner through our line. Now all it does is become a simple pencil knot. I want to try and keep it up as high as we can. We're going to buckle into our tether. Here we are safe and secure and ready to shoot. All points around. The other thing I want to make sure is, now that I've got this, can I sit down and have this support me by my just my tether, which is the real test of this equipment. So I'm going to work my way down slowly for the next step. Still good, still solid, 
working our way down. So we don't have to worry about trying to show everybody how to adjust everything right off the bat. I'm just stepping down to show the bridge with the tether. Right here, I'm completely supported by my tether. I'm going to go ahead and unclip. I'm going to unclip my Lyman's belt and undo my screw in. There we go. You can see I'm supported just by the tether. I can't see anything. I can swing around on one side and swing around to the other. There we go. So there you have it. A decent test of the equipment today. Uh, I think the River's Edge sticks did fairly well. I'm super happy with the purchase. Can't say I'm displeased at all. Uh, for a $60 for a three set of sticks. Uh, for some, they may be heavier. Uh, however, they are solid. Uh, you know my weights and stats uh, that I may not be the most mobile person. Uh, but to tell you the truth, those sticks, once they set, they did not move didn't creak, didn't make any noise. So super pleased with the uh, one piece construction with all the good welds holding up and looking great. Uh, have to say, uh, the one thing I am concerned about uh, that we'll need to do a little practice on is actually setting the sticks and the straps up uh, to see how we can manage to get out there without worrying about a tangling issue. Um, I don't know if I have to come up with some kind of uh, racking system or just bundle the straps separately uh, per stick so they don't give us any issues. Uh, but the, the nylon webbing held up perfect. The buckle, fantastic. Uh, no, no, uh, no creaks, uh, no loosening, no nothing. So super happy with the River, River's Edge stick. And uh, the H2 hunting saddle, once again, has... Uh, Shown its durability, uh, the money uh, is definitely worth it. Uh, even though it's one of the uh, lesser priced sticks on the mark or lesser priced saddles on the market, have to say that uh, super pleased, absolutely super pleased. I uh, do want to do a little more practicing with the tether. Uh, that's definitely something that I need to worry about as far as getting gear on and off of my belt through carabiners and whatnot. Uh, so that's why we start practicing this early in the summer with stuff that's so new because uh, being on the ground working with the stuff that that comes second hand after once or twice however once you get up in the tree and you got a lineman's belt or a lineman's line on the uh, tree and you're suspended 8 10 12 and on up feet uh, you don't have the luxury of just uh, setting everything down and uh, hoping that you can get it on because if it's not secure you could drop it the whole way down to the bottom of the tree uh, or worse yet uh, become a little discombobulated and have an issue while you're getting yourself set on the tree uh, so I have to say this is definitely a work in progress uh, happy super happy with the uh, results so far the improvements so far uh, definitely want to go ahead and mess around more with the tether uh, before I uh, actually do real video on it uh, the tether itself is secure I uh, just want to make sure I'm doing everything right and everything else is set up right uh, you couldn't see uh, the bottom very well uh, once I was on the tether I was about I was further down uh, than I really wanted to be so you really couldn't see what was under me at that point uh, which my camera lady alluded to uh, but the static uh, the not static but the um, uh, 
the actual tension knot that holds both pieces of gear together and is the uh, the, the premise of holding up on the tree uh, definitely did its job. Um, I'm able to be perfectly suspended, uh, whether it be four feet, eight feet. I'm going to go right now and throw another stick on the tree, and we're going for 12 or 13 feet. So uh, definitely super pleased with everything, and uh, definitely say progress was made today. So until next time, stay safe, stay legal, stay hydrated.